Aha. This is a song I'm doing for some people in uh, Melbourne, Australia. I just left there teaching uh, at the university. One of my dear friends, uh, Rob Vince, and his wonderful family. Uh, I love him a lot. My friend behind the camera is James Richard. I invited you here today so you can go over into the uh, music room, see some of the instruments I play from around the world. I want you to know that my book, Rhythms Talk, really talks about how music is language. I love it. Come on. This one's uh, from South Africa, some are from Zimbabwe, they're called Mbiras, Sanzas. This one I've had for many, many years. I love it. I do a lot of singing, chanting, and playing with it. A fabulous instrument. It's a, it's a kalimba. <laughs> Bells, bells from around the world. This one's from Tibet. Some wonderful bells from Japan. These are uh, usually used in Latin music or African or something funky. Everything's funky. Uh, this is a mambo bell, cha cha bell. But remember, rhythm stock and. Uh, One of my favorite ones is from Brazil, it's called an Agogo. Yeah, I saw by Ariba. Yeah, I saw by Ariba. Yo, bells. Yeah, I'm go by my land. A megaphone. For me, I do sound effects for movies, but everything I do is a movie. Everything is cinematic. So I pulled out a few things that I use as sound effects, but also this is musical environments that I like creating. Here's something um, that actually is a commercially moved thing. Yeah, that's called a vibratone. I'm just going to pick some things up off the table that pique my fancy. This is something you should know. It's the flexible hose that comes off the back of a stove. And I discovered that... It's just flex hose, but how you breathe in and breathe out, you can create something. In this case, it can mimic things like uh, bagpipes or another place. But remember, anything you do, whether it's mythical or with whether it's in, uh, in real time, you are a news reporter. You are a person who use sound to create environments that take people 
to a very special place. Let me a few, show you a few other things. In uh, Thailand, they love frogs. And so they built this. You can shake. And it goes on and on and on. I'll get hung up. Bird calls. A lot of times I have to do bird calls. Now you would think you know what that is. That's a turkey. Here's a, here's a dove. In Brazil, samba whistles. And then there's things I go when I go to Japan town or Chinatown. What are they? I don't know. I don't know. I know it's nutty, but I love it. Hammers from Spain. Hammers. Martillos. Martillos, uh, shakers, uh, these are from goats. These are the hooves from a goat. Yeah. And they can be used as rattles, sound effects. Yeah, from uh, Africa. These are seed pies. Pods. There's sound everywhere around you. Don't forget it. Sound is everywhere around you. When I played with Herbie Hancock and the Headhunters band, we did uh, Watermelon Man and uh, we did uh, What is it? It's a train whistle. But I use one of the pitches. It goes on and on and on. You gotta come visit me. You gotta come see me. Kachashi from Brazil. It's just a woven basket, and uh, on the back, bottom side, a hard gourd. Inside are seeds, and it's woven by a master, a master. Wonderful, wonderful instrument. Kachashi from Brazil. Uh, I'll show you a few other little things on the table. Uh, maracas. Remember, different pitches. Lower. Yeah. Maracas. And, uh, of course, smaller ones. And then they make different ones, in this case, uh, Revo and some other companies made shakers. And they made it in the shape of an avocado, a limon. Yeah. 
shakers. You can do a lot of things. You keep time with them, of course, but they also have pulses and they have sounds. Another one, another two. This is a, I got from uh, down in uh, Venezuela. Yeah. And look at the cool fabric. Everything is artistic. Yeah, living is an act of courage and it's an artistic statement. Be courageous with whatever you do. A few other things. Same thing as Shaker made by my dear friend Pete Inglehart. Ah, made out of metal. It's like a tambourine and a shaker. It's just its own instrument. And then one little, little thing left, and I've got millions of instruments, is a ganza. Aha, uh -huh. check and raise. Uh, you see them, of course, all throughout Africa, the Caribbean, Brazil. It's a gourd, which is a calabash, a squash, hard. Of course, the different sizes make different pitches. Yeah. And um, uh, I weave them with crow's beads. And there's a whole conversation you can have with the different sizes and the different rhythms. It's a world there. <laughs> Check and raise from uh, all around the Caribbean, Africa, Brazil. And it's a fabulous instrument and uh, one that I'm going to show you. Check and raise. <laughs> Cajones. Uh, they come in a lot of different sizes and shapes. They are made out of wood. And uh, this is a batuhon, a batuhon. And uh, I use it for a lot of different things. Middle Eastern music, certain, of course, Cuban styles. But it's just a creative... traditional patterns of course but for me everything is about language and speaking and just the tones I'm put into whatever I want to say at whatever moment I want to say
Well, everybody has seen bongos, and uh, these are kind of based upon a Cuban shape and sound. And uh, I play, of course, you can play Latin music, or you can play, uh, oh, you can play all kinds of other things from the Caribbean, and you can just play them funky. Uh, here's another set, just cause, so you can see that people have the same ideas around the world. Uh, and this is from Morocco. Now I have different instruments, but I just wanted to show you. These are Moroccan bongo. In this case, the lowest pitched one is called the tumba in Latin music. Yeah, the conga, which is a generic sound for the middle one, or uh, sound, or tone, or name. Yeah, and then you have the quinto, and uh, depending how you tune them, uh, it's a world of music inside of them. Calypso. Bye. 